Salam and greetings humans. Today I am making my snack kind of energy balls and here's what you'll need. Oats, peanut butter, um, for a seed I'm using chia seed, you'll need honey, and I'm using chocolate chips. Um, you can really add in everything, anything you want, but you definitely need the oats, the peanut butter, and the honey. These two are optional. Um, I've even used hemp seed, I've added, you know, chopped up dates, so this is a really good kind of whenever recipe. Let's get, oh, I need a bowl and a spoon, and you'll need a container to put it in for when you're done. Okay, I found these coconut bites in the cabinet, and I really like them, so I may just crush some of those up and stick it in there as well. And I've also got some wheat germ. Okay, so we want to start with our oats. And that looks like about a cup and a half of oats. Um, next up. Seeds, and I've got kind of a big spoon, so I'm just going to use this spoon to scoop. One, two. That seems like enough. And then the wheat germs. Uh, probably just one scoop of that because it's kind of. I don't know. Chewy is the word. Alright, one and a half. Um, we'll go with a little bit of the pumpkin-y stuff that looks like this. It's got like coconut, pumpkin seeds, um, some chia seeds. big handfuls. That's enough. So you end up with about two cups of stuff on the inside. And then we cannot forget the chocolate chips. These are semi-sweet. Okay. And then let's do this together make sure we got a good mix of everything. This is really kind of unnecessary because you'll be stirring it anyway. And I like using the mini size chocolate chip because then you don't, you can have more than one in your mix. Alright, that looks better. So next, peanut butter. Yeah, that's <clears throat> really the amount that I mean. Okay. Maybe just a little more. isn't squeezable. Oh, this is sunflower honey. It doesn't really matter what kind of honey, just that you use enough of it. This is one spoon. getting a little crystallized at the bottom. That's okay though. Boop. All 
All right, now you kind of mush it and mix everything together. This is the kind of longish part. So maybe if you have kids or a younger sibling or you're babysitting, this would be a good thing to get the kids to do. I would do it if I was babysitting, but my nephew is only eight months, so he doesn't really have the motor control to do this. <laughs> That is all mixed together and the most important thing about this is that when you okay this isn't gonna work because my hands are really dry but that it can be formed into a ball okay so at this point I should stick this in the fridge Miss Mina for like an hour, a good hour. Then you can take it out and roll it into balls. And then the balls go into the fridge. I like this because you have control over what you're making. And it's a good snack for kids. And I hate eating oatmeal, but I love the oats in this so I'll put this in the fridge and I'll come back in a bit okay hi I'm back hours later um, because I took a nap <laughs> so as you can see our container is cold our stuff is right chilly um, I've got a container for storing the finished balls I've got a pie plate with some water in it um, and the water is just to, like moisten your hands so you don't um, so they don't stick to you if you're working next to the sink then you don't really need this okay so bowl stuff with your hands and grab a good scoop And then squish it and then and that's it you can roll them in your hands if you have more peanut butter than I do um, but that's what they look like so let's do a whole bunch more And being cold means that your mini chocolate chips, which are very, very prone to melting at body temperature, stay solid. All right. I will keep I'll finish this one and work on the rest. Oh crap. And I'll be back when I'm finished. And they are done. Oops, that's a little close. These are great in lunch boxes. They're great for breakfast. They're great for after school snacks or after work snacks. <sighs> um. What else? Oh, I heard that breastfeeding mothers like them. Oops. And because they're just a quick poppable snack with a good amount of calories for them. Um, excuse the, the the door closed. That was the wind. I hope I hope that you have enjoyed this little tutorial. And let me know if you make these or what are your favorite things to have in oat balls 
What do you like to use them for? Leave that in the comment box down below. Oh, and for storage, I would store these in a sealed container. I'm going to go get the top in a minute. But store these in a sealed container in the fridge. They're... If it's winter in Minnesota, you can probably just store them in a windowsill and they'll stay solid enough. But if they get warm, they do tend to crumble. So just keep that in mind if you're packing them next to soup or something. So thanks so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in my next video, inshallah. So toodles, humans. <laughs>